This is the Intelligent Body Studio, and I'm Krista, and this is Ed. And we're going to do standing quad stretch, and what's so beneficial of quad stretching, about quad stretching, is that it makes a lot of space in the back of the body. So the quads cover the front of the thigh, there's four of them, that's why it's called the quad, and the top of the quad connects here to the pelvis, and the bottom of the psoas muscle, which goes along the spine, crosses over the pelvis. So when you make room here in the quad, you also make room in the muscles in the front of the spine, and when you make room in the muscles in the front of the spine, the back of the spine starts to feel a lot better. So we can free up the back by stretching the quads. So for the standing quad stretch, you have something to hold on to so you don't have to worry about your balance, and you reach around and grab your foot. Now if you have limitations in your knee, or if the foot seems kind of far away, which it can in the beginning, then you use a strap, and you put your foot in the strap, and you grab the strap wherever it's comfortable for you to grab. Once you have your foot, or your strap, Soften your standing knee a little bit, and bring your knees in line with each other, and bring your knees close together. Take a breath, and as you exhale, you pull up through your center, and the center is inner thigh, pelvic floor, lower abs. And you begin to kick the foot down into your hand, or your strap, as if you could kick it forward and all the way up like you were a rocket. And so... You're pulling up through your center, you're kicking your foot down, you're contracting and stretching the front of your thigh at the same time, and you're trying to take the curve out of the low back, because the low back wants to go like that, but you're rounding the spine and pulling the shoulders down your back. The tendency can be to hunch your shoulders to help, but the truth is hunching the shoulders doesn't help much. So shoulders pull down, you pull up through your center, and you kick your foot down, and the final step is a little smile, helps the quad to let go. One more breath there. And then let your leg come down. And breathe and feel the difference in the two sides. Lift your leg and see if the back flexibility on the back of the side you stretched got a little looser than the other side. And now you stretch one side and you can play the video again and stretch the other side.